injured here 1v1 out to reach his blue side. We have Nodo as a force commander, offensive melee quite versatile can tank, disrupt and even support. This is Imperial Fist's DLC. Rise is a chaos lord, durable and destructive commander fights melee, good offense and disruption. This is Wordbearer's DLC. Quite a large 1v1 map. We have a natural for Rise in the southeast, natural for Nodo in the northwest, and a contested VP all the way in this northeast corner. Triple Heretics opening for Rise. Look at this. Start off as a light melee unit. Pretty dangerous but very fragile without their aspiring champion. Now getting shot up by tactical marines on the field for Nodo, followed up by another scout squad as you'd expect on this very large map. Heretic squad number 3. Very interesting to see what Ryze does with this. Is he going to upgrade these guys? He's going to keep them like this and try and get a quick blood crusher. Here is the second scout squad for Nodo. Light range of a tree, good utility and speed, good for giving you map control. 500 476 early lead for Nodo with that single. Heretics scaring off the scouts. Chaos Lord goes all the way to the northeast, not the most mobile commander, but has good synergy with corn worship from his heretic that can boost his speed. Now in amongst some scouts here. And we have some Chaos Space Marines for Rise. Triple Heretics into Chaos Space Marines. Might bleed him like crazy in tier 2. I expect Nodo is going to want a Librarian if these Heretics survive the tier 2 that is. Chaos Lord taking quite a lot of damage here down to half hit points. He does start with a self heal. Kill the weak which went off there and missed. Gives him back health for every model he hits with that attack. Heretics and the Chaos Sword now up against this Force Commander, knocked down by a nice special attack. And he needs to judge this right, no doubt. Special attack on the Heretics, he's trying to get models off these guys before he needs to retreat, and there is the retreat. And he did not get, oh, we got one model off him. 465471. Tactical Marines, heavy range of retreat. Very versatile and durable. And here are the Chaos Space Marines capping up this wreck point with their awesome Wordbearer's armor. Also heavy range of retreat. A bit more specialized and offensive though than those tactical marines, especially in tier 2. 448471. Chaos Lord breaks the map, retreating. Heretic trying to harass power, but they're gonna get caught by scouts, and he's lucky that none of these guys have frag grenades, that could have been a really nasty retreat grenade there. Where are the CSM going? Checking out the center of the map. 436471 we have... Sh no, sorry, sniper apples on both scout squads. I thought we had shotguns. Very long range burst damage versus infantry. Force commander with no war gear yet. Taking bolt of fire from these Chaos Space Marines. 426471 triple generators up for Rise, double generators up for Nodo, Rise also has this southwest power. Force Commander runs away, Heretics will cap, no upgrades for these Heretics yet. Looks like he's not reinforcing them either, so he is going for a quick tier 2 it looks like. 422470. No doubt. Getting a big presence in the northeast. Looks like he's going to try and look after this victory point. Here comes Rise, though. Two to one cap for Nodo. Force Wonder now coming back out can meet his Marines in the center. Double sniper scouts will take a model off those heretics, but now caught in melee. There's the Doom Blast suppressing them, and they need to retreat. Do not lose a model, though. Heretics lost four models. These heretics in the top right corner of your screen now idle. Here come Kel Space Marines gonna try and force melee, I think. Nope. Thought they were gonna force melee on his attacks. Here come heretics. Don't wanna fight the force commander when he's getting off special attacks like that. Absolutely owning those heretics special attacks, and they lose three models. Battle cry has gone off. 
have not seen Kraken bolts from these tactical marines. Trying to get a model loss off these Kel Space Marines now is the Force Commander. Getting bolt pistol shots, he now has Artificer Armor, making him very, very tough. 200 hit point buff and a regeneration buff, too. 422434, Force Commander in a lot of danger here. Knocked down, now caught by Heretics, and knocked down again. Needs to retreat right now. Lucky that more heretics weren't in this squad. They were down to four models. That could have been very, very different. And Rise does go tier two. No doubt getting some more tactical marines in tier one. So he's going to be way ahead of No doubt in terms of Tekken. But will he be able to get a blood crusher out? He does have good power income. And he's going to take this northeast VP as well. Chaos Lord wants to come and tie up these tactical marines. Taking a lot of damage though. With double tax and those sniper scouts. Very good kill the weak. Keeps him in the fight. 422, 431, 434 even. 1 to 1 cap. Now a 2 to 1 for Rise. And a Blood Crusher is on the way. Chaos Lord retreats. Did his job of holding up this entire force for a little while. Northeast has turned red in the meantime. Sniper scouts getting shots off. On these heretics, tactical marines can force melee. No, they do not. Could have finished that squad off if both of those attacks force melee. Only three models. Big mistake from Nodo. Blood Crusher over halfway done. Heretics are going to wipe surely down to three models in amongst these scouts. Rise either doesn't care or wasn't paying attention and now only has a single heretic squad left. Blood Crusher now on the way. Nodo does go tier 2, is about three quarters of the way there. Here is the Blood Crusher, a demon with vehicle armor, basically a blood letter riding a juggernaut. Decent damage versus all targets, good mobility, but not the toughest thing around. Really needs the synergy of worship from us heretics. You have the Dark Halo and the Blood Maul on the way for the Chaos Lord. 400, 420. Very close in VPs. Force Commander is going to come and decap Rise's natural. Rise now heavily behind in capping power. Only has the Chaos Lord, Heretics, and CSM that can cap. CSM locked in base here. Very lucky not to lose a model to those Sniper Scouts. Blood Crusher, meanwhile, is going to go and bash power. Triple Gens here for Nodo. Dreadnought on the way for Nodo though. This Blood Crusher needs to be very careful when that thing hits the field. I don't think he has really taken advantage of it. Couldn't get it out quite quickly enough. 400-395. Heretics cap in northeast. But Nodo's going to get the 2-1 to because he's taken Rise's natural. Very good tier 1 for Nodo, took out two heretic squads and gets the tier 2 in decent time and a dreadnought on the field. Curse Lord now looking very very mean, fully kitted out, has the Harness of Rage, Dark Halo and the Blood Maul. You usually see this loadout with the Lightning Claws since they attack quicker, will give you back energy quicker for the Harness of Rage. I think Demonic Visage is better for the Blood Maul but we'll see how he does. Look at the DPS he's putting out, 100. Power melee DPS, which is the same as the claws, I think, but they do attack quicker. Blood Maul, very good for destruction, of course. Lightning Claws, pretty much a pure DPS weapon. And here is the Dreadnought. Rise has now seen it. And the Chaos Lord cannot get a heavy melee weapon, so he can't take on vehicles himself, pretty much. There is Fist of the Emperor stunning him. And he's sticking in this fight. Taking a lot of damage from this Dreadnought. Finally retreats. And does get away. 394, 369. Blood Crusher now smacking on his node. Lost a bit of health from something. Do we have a missile launcher? We do have a missile launcher for these tactical marines. Blood Letters now on the way for Rise. A good choice versus double tax. Tactical marines' weakness is strong melee units. 381, 369 now in. Melee combat with the Blood Crusher, Blood Crusher tying up the squad with the missile launcher so they, so they can't shoot. Here come aspiring champion heretics. 
there's the Doom Blast, should have turned and engaged those other attack squad that were retreating, I think. Sniper Scout's getting shots in though on his heretics down to three models. And there is some corn worship. He's gonna lose his squad if he's not careful. Force squad are catching them in retreat. And there is the dreadnought with a big hit. Can the aspiring champion get away? Are we gonna see two more sniper shots to finish him off? 22 hit points gets away. Dreadnought still in its default melee state. Has a wrist mounted flamer as well. Inspires nearby troops and either it kills anything in melee. Good synergy with the Force Commander's battle cry. This Blood Crusher still around, and now he's up against the Power Fist Force Commander. He needs to get the heck out of there. Such a strong anti vehicle weapon with Flesh Over Steel as well. Took a missile shot as well, and the Blood Crusher gets away. Unbelievable. Has done really well so far. Bloodletter is now on the field, really, really needs some heretics, and he is getting some. Bloodletter is our demon infantry with those hell blades good damage that all targets can teleport and phase out of existence really 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 dangerous unit in the right hands Marcos Inc CSM now looks like they have a turn of war as well Dreadnought going straight after that Chaos Lord and now Marcos Inc CSM shooting up the Force Commander blood letters are phased out so they cannot take any damage now but cannot attack tactical marines get their sergeant here CSM down to one model, need to retreat. Here comes Heretics, no upgrade for these guys, they are getting an aspiring champion. Bloodlet is just about getting away, where do they teleport to? Up there, now in retreat. Force Commander's gonna go down I think, in combat with the Chaos Lord, one more hit from our Blood Lord, down he goes. Now he needs to run away from the Shreddnaught. Sparring champion heretics get away with a single model and here's some blood sacrifice blood letters. Global ability of the Chaos Lord sacrificing a model to spawn blood, le blood letters until they run out of energy. But unable to really do anything against the Dreadnought and are taken down quickly with some free XP for these tactical marines. Rise under lots of pressure here. Losing those aspiring champion heretics was a big blow. Having to replace them is not cheap. 95-30 to get an aspiring champion these days. 330-369, a one-to-one -one cap. VP's quite even, but you've got to think Nodo in the ascendancy with this very dangerous force commander. A Dreadnought, which is starting to get XP almost level two. And has two scouts around to repair it. And a double tactical marine backbone as well. Rise, perhaps get another blood letter squad these guys are teleporting somewhere this is not where they want to go they need to isolate the dreadnought if they want to take it on really rise in my opinion I would pretty much just ignore the dreadnought at this point get double blood letters focus them on the tactical marines force them off and then you can try and take on the dreadnought Rise is now going to get his power hit 330, 353. It's a 2 to 1 cap for Nodo. And he might lose his entire farm. Is he even going to bother trying to defend it? It looks like he's not. Blood letter. Sorry, Blood Crusher. Back on the field with full hit points, pretty much. Scout Marines leveled 2. Other squad also level 2. Tax level 2. And level 1. Dreadnought still level 1. Force Commander himself, level 3, now has the teleporter back. Blood Crusher in even more trouble. Curse Lord still level 1, this guy. 330, 330, needs to take the shield down so it can regenerate energy. There we go. Heretics with their aspiring champion now capping. They have a reinforcement already paid for there. And look at this Blood Crusher in base is going to wipe these scouts out. Nodo not paying attention and ouch. Loses a scout squad just because this team could run into base with those heavy bottle base turrets doing nothing. And as you can see Nodo retreating his force commanders to get him back to base quickly and scare off the Blood Crusher. Dreadnought getting retreat hits on the Chaos Lord. Now only one scout squad standing. 
look at the amount of power that Rice has. Over 400 power in a 1v1, that is outrageous. Bloodlet is phased out of existence using this immunity to damage to get in amongst those tactical marines. Dreadnought does not chase them. Are they going to attack? Yes, going after the scouts. And now the tactical marines. Here come heretics. They need to be worshipping, I think. No, nope, Ryze needs to get out of it. Got force commanders here, and he's pissed. Takes out a heretic with a sink kill. Full retreat from Ryze. Needs to get this blood crusher away. I think he just uses charge. 297, 326. 2 to 1 cap for Ryze. Has a Chaos Dreadnought on the way. Are we going to see Mark of Corn or Mark of Zinch? CSM with Mark of Zinch here. Aspiring champion also. Run right into trouble though and forced off immediately. This Dreadnought still hasn't leveled. But look at this tier 3 for Nodo. And he has the zeal to get terminators. Ryze now putting his generators on this power, which Nodo has not gone to at all, I think, since that scouts were scared off by heretics early on. And Nodo's gonna get a 2 to 1. He's gonna take his natural back, take this wreck point back. That controlled quite even though. Rice has so much power, it's ridiculous. And cancels the Chaos Shreddnot, gets more blood letters. Curse Lord finally levels. 278321. Force Commander teleports right into his face. And he accepts the challenge, puts his shield up. Highness of Rage, giving him 5 energy back with each hit from this Blood Maul. And. Force Commander bites off more he can chew and here comes the Dreadnought to help him and he really needed that help, Curse Lord was kicking his ass there. Blood Crusher still alive, level 2 goes after the Dreadnought and here come Blood Letters. Can he take this thing down now? Under Worship, this is a big chance. Blood Crusher needs to be very careful, here comes the second Blood Letter squad. Dreadnought in trouble there, his fist off the Emperor. Where's the Curse Lord gone? Wandered off for a second there. Force Commander going after those heretics, but he's going to take a while getting through all of them with that power fist. Now taking shots from the CSM and retreats. Blood letters, eight of them up against the Dreadnought. Dreadnought's in big, big trouble, and I think he's going to lose this thing. Fantastically done from Ryze. Takes your Dreadnought down and preserves his Blood Crusher. Unbelievable. Now charges it away. Force Commander chasing it with power fist. Teleports after it. Blood Crusher now in teleportation range in worship range, sorry, and goes down 278, 275. Force Commander does his job finally and retreats. Stage on no fear now on his tax. Blood letters teleporting in. And they retreat like crazy. Rise turning this game around really, really well. And look at the amount of resources he has. Almost 800 hit wreck, over 500 power. Could easily go tier 3. And save up for a great unclean one or something. 278259. Nodo is tier 3. Now has almost 500 red after losing all of that stuff. And he could get terminators on the field now. Chaos Dreadnought now on the way for Rise. Mark of Corn, I would think. Blood Letters going northeast. Heretics already there capping. And Ryze is going to take a 2 to 1, 278, 247. How quickly the game can change. Nodo was looking so strong with that Dreadnought. Double Blood Letters take it down quickly though. And finally, Nodo taking care of this power. Is he going to decap or just destroy it? He's going to do both, I think. 275, 247. Tier 3 for Ryze. Cancelling the Curved Dreadnought again. Blood Letters teleporting somewhere going to help out with this node. Rise taking the opportunity to cap stuff. Nodo, is he waiting for a land raider? He might be. He might just be waiting for an engagement to start before calling in terminators. We'll see. Rise might be able to get a great and clean one on the field as soon as he gets tier 3. There's so much resources. 253, 247, 2 to 1 cap for Rice has his double blood letters. Still both level 1. Heretic support and some Kale Space Marines. Blood Crusher taken out. 
attacks with their sergeants missile launcher and plasma gun CSM gonna get some inferno bolts on the force command I got about one second of shooting off before he teleported in and retreat took out a model and leveled the force commander to five now uses battle cry boosting the damage of these tactical marines that were in range Kurt's Lord is tanking all of this though with that blood maul and harness of rage can he take out the force command I don't think he can I think he's going to lose this guy just stayed in the engagement for a fraction too long thought he could take the force commander down here come double blood letters though 221 247 one to one cap and we do have a land raid redeemer on the way rise is tier three with plenty of resources could get a great and clean one and does probably wondering whether he could repurchase his chaos lord there but goes for the great and clean one csm capping force kind of running around with not a lot of health left level five and look at the map turning red here he's completely taking his power out thanks to these blood letters and is decapping it Nodo under huge amounts of pressure needs to make this land raider redeemer count basically a mobile base for the space marines two big flamestone cannons on the side sponsons twin linked assault cannon grenade launchers and a multi melter puts out some serious damage but needs to be close to do it also allows you to reinforce retreat and as a health regeneration aura you can keep this thing alive with these scouts he might be able to push all the way across the map all the way to rises natural looks like he is going northeast though force commander goes down but let us still level one heretics level two CSM level two the attacks are level three now over 1600 hit points 193 247 great unclean one hits the field super unit for chaos hugely powerful in melee combat hugely tough but he's not the most mobile as you can see great synergy in fact with the corn worship boosting his speed and giving him health and energy regeneration 182 247 chaos lord has been repurchased very very nearly level three Puts up his Dark Halo, taking tons of damage from that Land Raider. Should have waited for the rest of his army, I think. Tactical Marines retreating back to the Land Raider. And look at the amount of red that Nodo has. He can now just save for some Terminators. Chaos Lord, way too overextended, is forced to retreat. Where are the Blood Letters? They are stealing this VP under heretic worship nicely done by rise but let us now phasing out and he's now going to back them off under corn worship boosting their speed and no doubt preoccupied with taking his vp back he's not spitting his forces as well as rises is he look at the map turning red like crazy rise could now get a chaos predator and he does one two three two four seven no doubt under huge amounts of pressure can he hold on for terminators here one one five two four seven a double cap for rise gonna be a two to one grand clean one yet to get in a fight over six thousand hit points cannot level of course since it's a super unit blood letters gonna teleport in on his tax double blood letters teleporting on his tax and they flee they shall not fear my ass. Here comes the Land Raider to help out. Force Commander teleports in. But let us need to phase out. See if they have the energy. I don't think they did. So they retreat. 92, 247. Rise just using them to keep the pressure on Nodo here. Nodo very, very static. Look at him. Not moving from his VP. Blatantly waiting for Terminators, I think. He could get Terminators right now. Would it be good? I think he might want to get some Assault Terminators go up against these double blood letters in melee with lightning claws lightning claws would also do ridiculous amounts of, amounts of damage to this great and clean one it is super heavy infantry and here come terminators what has he gone for he has gone for assault terminators thunder hammers and storm shields by default with heavy melee we'll be able to tank the great and clean one but won't put out some 
crazy DPS like Lightning Claws will. There's the vomit, cloud of flies. Rise using abilities as soon as he can. Land Raider Redeemer getting tons of damage with those Flamestorm Cannons and that Assault Cannon. Marco Zinch Curse Predator now. Doing a lot of damage to those Terminators. Terminators are a large target, so things like Last Cannons will get 100% accuracy against them. Great on Klemon taking tons of damage. Where are those heretics? He nearly needs some worship support and he's miles away. He's going to lose this Great on Clean One. Terminators lose a model, but they can reinforce from this Land Raider. And down goes the Great on Clean One. Was caught without any support and goes down. Down goes the Marco Zinch Predator Nodo. They're going to come back here. 38, 247. Can he cap the top? Surely he can. These Terminators taking so much damage. Need to get inside the Land Raider because here come Bloodletters. Madness. They're going after the Bloodletters now. Now they go into the Land Raider finally, do they? Yes. Tactical Marines also getting inside. Bloodletters can now wail on the Land Raider itself. And with that heavy melee, they're going to do a lot of damage. There is out the Grenade Launcher Barrage. Absolutely owning those Bloodletters who phase out. Here we see some corn worship. Terminators get back out. Force Commander in amongst Chaos Space Marines. We see Bloodlust going off. Bang. Boosting damage of it whenever anything hits him. Made as a global ability of the Chaos Lord. He's going to take this Land Raider down and does. Bloodletters leveling to 3 and 2. Still under corn worship. Something being dropped here is it's a drop pod. Yes, it's going to reinforce those tactical marines. Wow. Won't reinforce those assault terminators though. Maybe he thought it would. And he's going to lose his terminators now. Down they go. Big, big loss for Nodo. And surely this is Rise's game. After losing the Great Unclean One and that tank in quick succession takes down the Land Raider and the terminators. Now, Aspiring Champion Heretics keeping these tacks busy. Nodo just keeping these guys here, trying to stop Rise from capping and forces off the heretics. Can he stop the Chaos Lord from capping now? This guy's level 6, starting to kick some serious ass. Over 1400 hit points of Harness of Rage. Now in amongst Tax who retreat. These guys still in play with two models. 29247 Force Commander repurchased. Chaos Lord is going to use this shield to cap this VP and that should be game over. Here comes another Chaos Predator, no mark for this one yet. Double Blood Letters coming out of base, fully reinforced. He's done so well with these things. Level 3 and very nearly level 3 on the other squad. And he's going to take this VP. And it should be it. Here comes the Force Commander. There is the 2 to 1 cap. No doubt with just double tax left, both level 4 mind. Over 1800 hit points each. And he's going to try it and go off this tank. Is he going to try it and decap? There is flesh over steel. This tank is now completely stunned. And he's going to take this tank out. Rise not happy. Now gets away out of its stun. Can he escape? Does it even matter? Takes the predator down. Levels to 9. This force pond is level 9. Now trying to decap this VP. Don't think he's going to have time though. 4, 3, 2, and has to retreat and cannot decap. There is the victory for Rise. Some crazy action. Land Raider, Terminators, Great Unclean One, all going down. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time.